Okay, today we're talking about time signatures and how to understand what the top number means and what the bottom number means. And then to specifically understand how to count 6-8 time. So the top number means how many beats per measure. This can range from numbers from 1 to 12, and it's pretty straightforward. So if you have 4-4 four, four time, the top number is 4, that means there's going to be 4 beats per measure. The bottom number gets a little more confusing, and it means what type of note gets the beat. So if you see a 1 on the bottom, that's going to be a whole note. If you see a 2 on the bottom, that's going to be a half note gets the beat. If you see a 4 on the bottom, that's a quarter note, just like in 4-4 four, four time, there are 4 beats per measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. Here's where we are. If you see an 8 on the bottom, that's going to be an 8th note gets the beat, and then later on you'll see a 16 on the bottom, and that's when a 16th note gets the beat. Now, if we're looking specifically at 6-8 time, then the top number means what? It means how many beats per measure. So there are going to be 6 beats per measure, and the 8 on the bottom means what? It means the 8th note gets the beat. So the 8th note gets the beat. So you can count it two different ways. It's compound meter. You can count it each 8th note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you can count it in groups of 2 with 3 in each group. 1 lolly, 2 lolly. This gives you an opportunity to play slower or faster depending on the style of the piece. So 6, 1, 3, 4, 6, 1 is a slow piece. Or 1 lolly, 2 lolly, 1 lolly, 2 lolly, 1. So you have to be prepared to count it both ways. Okay? I hope that helps with your study of time signatures. Thank you so much.